First up, the shocking claims surrounding OpenAI whistleblower Suchir Balaji's death. His parents are pushing back hard against Sam Altman's suicide narrative, dropping bombshells that could redefine everything we thought we knew. Get ready for the full story. Then, we're diving deep into Microsoft's game-changing AI strategy. Mustafa Suleiman is spearheading a move towards self-sufficiency, building their own chip cluster to reduce reliance on OpenAI. Is this the beginning of the end for their partnership? And you won't believe what Sam Altman revealed in his intense interview with Tucker Carlson. We're talking about AI's role in suicide prevention, military applications, and the urgent need for AI privilege to protect your private conversations. This is crucial. Finally, we'll explore the mind-bending phenomenon of people starting to talk like AI. Sam Altman himself is raising the alarm, and new research confirms it. Are we losing our linguistic identity? All that and more, right here, right now. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Sam Altman is full of lies. OpenAI whistleblower Suchir Balaji's parents reject suicide claims. This is a story that has sent shockwaves through the tech world. Just hours after OpenAI CEO, Sam Altman, stated that the young researcher and whistleblower Suchir Balaji died by suicide, his parents have vehemently denied his claims, declaring that the OpenAI CEO is full of lies. They've even alleged that the company attempted to offer them something, though they refused to engage. Suchir Balaji's mother, Purnima Rao, speaking to CNN Chat GPT Insights, described Altman's demeanor during their interactions, noting his evasiveness. She also pointed out inconsistencies in Altman's claims about investigations, stating they were only aware of one. She revealed that HR offered them shares, but given Suchir's past statements about Altman being full of lies, they chose to communicate only through an attorney. Pornima Rao expressed her trust in Elon Musk, calling him a good man and indicating they would seek his help. When asked why she believes her son was murdered, she cited three points a wound injury on his head, a mention of a punch to the face in the autopsy report, and his face being twisted with ripped jeans. She mentioned they weren't given photos of their son, but received insider information about the injuries. Suchir Balaji's father corroborated these accusations, also pointing to the company's attempt to offer them something they refused. While the San Francisco police ruled Balaji's death a suicide, his parents remain convinced he was murdered and have highlighted numerous inconsistencies in the autopsy report, continuing their own investigation. And the drama surrounding OpenAI doesn't stop there. Prepare for a deep dive into Microsoft's bold move to build its own AI infrastructure. Going solo, Microsoft wants to be self-sufficient in AI, building its own chip cluster to reduce its reliance on OpenAI. The multi-billion dollar partnership between Microsoft and OpenAI has been under a microscope, especially following the brief ousting of CEO Sam Altman. Despite his reinstatement, tensions appear to persist. Reports suggest Microsoft is developing its own AI chip cluster, a significant move towards self-sufficiency and a potential reduction in its reliance on OpenAI. This comes as OpenAI aims for a for-profit evolution, with its valuation soaring to $300 billion. Microsoft AI CEO Mustafa Suleiman has indicated the company's capability to build world-class frontier models in-house, emphasizing pragmatism in using external models. This strategic shift allows Microsoft to diversify its AI strategy, exploring open-source models and partnerships while maintaining control over its AI development. Despite signing a non-binding memorandum of understanding for the next phase of their partnership, Details remain scarce, with both parties working to finalize contractual terms. OpenAI, committed to its nonprofit mission, will retain control, now paired with an equity stake in its for profit arm. But the implications of AI extend far beyond corporate strategies. Could AI be fundamentally changing the way we communicate? Carlson interview exposes Altman's fears on suicide, military use, and AI morality. In a candid interview with Tucker Carlson, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman delved into some of the most pressing and often overlooked ethical dilemmas surrounding artificial intelligence. Altman addressed the critical issue of AI's role in assisting users with suicidal thoughts, 
revealing that thousands interact with ChatGPT weekly in such states. He drew a distinction between assisting individuals with depression and supporting, assisted dying for terminally ill patients, highlighting the complex ethical landscape. Altman also advocated for AI privilege, a concept analogous to attorney-client privilege, to protect the privacy of sensitive conversations about health, finances, and legal matters from government access or commercial exploitation. He discussed the intricate process of embedding moral rules into AI systems, acknowledging his personal accountability for the decisions made. Furthermore, Altman touched upon the potential for military applications of AI, admitting uncertainty about its role while denying plans for autonomous weapons. The conversation also covered the threat of deepfakes and the erosion of trust in digital media, with Altman proposing alternatives to mandatory biometrics for verification. He addressed concerns about AI training data, emphasizing the importance of avoiding plagiarism and the challenges of user complaints regarding restrictive outputs. Altman confessed that the launch of ChatGPT has led to sleepless nights, citing users' deaths by suicide and unpredictable societal shifts, including the alarming observation that people are adopting the diction and rhythm of language models, potentially altering societal behavior. He also voiced concerns about AI's potential in designing biological weapons. The interview underscored that the most significant AI challenges lie not in sensational headlines, but in ensuring its safe and fair integration into daily life. And that linguistic shift Altman mentioned? It's backed by some fascinating new research that shows just how much AI is reshaping our very language. Is AI changing our language? OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has raised a startling observation. People are beginning to talk like AI. This isn't just about increased usage. Research from UCLA and the University of Copenhagen, analyzing over 100,000 Reddit posts, confirms that exposure to ChatGPT influences word choice. Words like delve, showcase, and underscores have surged in popularity, particularly in tech-focused discussions, with their rise correlating directly with ChatGPT's widespread adoption. Crucially, this linguistic influence isn't limited to direct copy-pasting. It extends to people who simply observe others using these new terms. Furthermore, new research from KTH Royal Institute of Technology and Aarhus University suggests that our speech patterns are also changing. Just as humans unconsciously mirror each other's speech, we are now beginning to match the patterns and accents of realistic-sounding AI voices. This phenomenon could lead to a homogenization of language, potentially diminishing linguistic diversity, regional dialects, and cultural variations. While this might enhance global communication clarity, it risks creating a colder, more uniform linguistic landscape. The implications are profound, potentially shifting thought patterns towards machine-like syntax and cadence, prioritizing efficiency over nuance and creativity. This could also lead to social risks, such as accent bias and discrimination against those whose speech deviates from the emerging AI-influenced norm. As AI's linguistic footprint grows, we face a future where GPT English might become the standard, impacting everything from education to professional expectations. So we've covered a lot of ground today, from explosive accusations to groundbreaking tech shifts and linguistic evolution. But what's the big picture takeaway? And that's a wrap on today's essential AI updates. We heard from Sutcher Balaji's parents with explosive claims against Sam Altman. Microsoft is making major moves to become self-sufficient in AI with their own chip cluster. Sam Altman revealed his deep concerns about AI's impact on suicide prevention, military use, and privacy in his Tucker Carlson interview. And we explored how AI is literally changing the way we talk. Don't miss out on any of these crucial developments. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, drop a comment below with your thoughts, and follow us on all our social channels for more insights. We'll see you in the next one.